People, my people, every once in a while we come across an idea that is so stunningly brilliant that we wish we had it. And um, recently my friend Serene gave me a bottle of uh, juice gin. And this is one of those brilliant ideas that is so stunning and so wonderful that I wish I'd thought this one up. Juice gin is from the Endangered Distilling Co. So what these guys do across the ditch in Tasmania is they go out and search for food waste, so leftover bread, bacon, and you know, fruit juice and stuff like that, that otherwise would be discarded. Now, the simple life will have told you that fruit juices follow sugar. We get, you know, grape is, grape, uh, wine is, made, is fermented fruit juice, for example. So what they've done is get all the fruit juice from this particular company whose name can't be escaped me, but will be mentioned in the write-up, and they turn it into booze. Hooray. Um, the simple fact of the matter is, is that, as is done by a distillery in Dunedin, and I will take a moment to go and look it up because it's rather special. I'm rather impressed with them. Um, it's the Dunedin Craft Distillers. They turn all the leftover bread, soak it up, get all those starches and carbohydrates moving, ferment it, distill it, bang, you've got gin again. And the Endangered Distilling Co. do um, the same thing. So, so when you gave it to me, I sat back and went, yep, okay, wasn't going to do anything, had a boring week, so, and my reflection, I see a Yankee, yeah, hate it every time. So there's no sound of happiness on this, because there is a whole lot of smell of happiness. Um, it's 43%, it's made from, like I said, fruit juice that would have just been tipped out of the sink, or God knows done what with, turned into vinegar, they've turned it into gin. perfectly workable dry gin um, that's done its bit towards producing um, food waste. I think you should do your bit towards w w reducing food waste by um, either by just jumping online. I'm um, uncertain at this point in time whether I've got a shop front. If they do, it's going to be on their website. Tell them Odin Sancho and you can expect an interview with them um, about the same time as this comes to air. Um, and sufficiently interested enough and fascinated enough to actually do a um, very rare um, video, you know, interview. I'm going to basically call them up, video call on my mobile phone and use the 21st century and both my major Gen Y and we're just going to do an online interview. So I look forward to that. Thank you for hitting that subscribe button, sh like, share and um, stay tuned. Lots of interesting booze, lots of fascinating stuff to spend your liquor on and tell these people Uncle Aiden sent you. Kind of good stuff for the good people.